All right, today is Daf Mem Dalid. We're gonna pick it up from the two dots on Mem Gimel Mem Bez. But before we start, I just want to correct something that I think I said incorrectly at the end of the last recording, right before the two dots, where the Gemara is trying to say that Srichus of Wire of Nachman has to say the halacha of, of Shliach Nasa aid both by Kedushin Gerishin and by Mominus. And by Mominus, we were titled whether or not you hold of Hamalvis Chaver Be'edim, Main Sarkh Lefar Be'edim, whether or not the guy's gonna be Negea Be'edus. And the Gemara ends off saying, the Hashta, the Tikkun Rabban and Shavus Hesis, Mishtaboy Hani Edim, the Avinale, Mishtavala. So now, Zok the Gemara, that there is a Musag of Shvuas Hesis, which is only a Shvua Midrabanan, which means somebody who denies that they owe money, they still have to make a Shvuas Hesis to be off the hook. So at this point, Mishtaboy Hani Edim Diavinale, now these Shluchim, meaning these Edim, could make a Shvua that they gave the Malva back the money. Meanwhile, the Malva over here says, I don't know these guys. I, I'm, I can make a Shvua that they never paid me. And therefore, the Leva now will be still on the hook that he'll have to pay. Kum techais, the Shvus Hesis now gives these Edim a reason to potentially lie. And therefore they are Negev Edus, and therefore Rav Nachman's halacha won't be true now that we have a halacha of Shvus Hesis. I think I might have said it wrong. That's why I'm just repeating that to correct it. Now we move on. Zok the Gemara. Ha'ish Mekadosh is Bitai. The Mishnah said that a guy can marry off his daughter when she is a Naira. That's what the Mishnah was talking about. There is a Shail in the Rishayim. Are we also talking about a Katana? It seems to be a, a challenge with Rashi that seems to go both ways. But the Pashtu says we're only talking about a Naira. It's Tanan Hassan. We learned over there Masech Gitten. This is now where Stelling to a Mishnah from Daf Samach Dalad Amid Beis in Gitten Naira Amorosa. The halacha by Naira Amorosa is Hivi Avia Mekabelin Gita. So here you have this twelve-year-old girl. She is Mikudeshes. She only has Arison. She's not totally out of her father's rishus. They decide the shidduch is not worth pursuing anymore, and now they want to get. Who can be Mekabel to get? Zok the Mishnah. Hivi Avia. Amar Rabbi Huda, it's not true. Ein Shtei Adayim Zayches Keechad, and therefore El Avia Mekabel Gita. Only the father can receive the get. The Naira herself cannot receive the get. And then that Mishnah ends off. If she's unable to be shamer her get, she doesn't know what it is. In Yachal his gar, she can no longer get divorced. She has a din of a shaita. It's a shaila of can her father be a or can nobody be a That's not what we're talking about right now, but that's the end of this mission in Git. So again, you have a machlekes, chachamim, and Rabbi Yehuda, whether or not can a naira also be a her get. So Marish Lakish, machlekes, la gerishin, this machlekes between the Tanakama, slash Rabbanan, and Rabbi Yehuda, that is machlekes by gerishin, also kach machlekes la kiddushin. It would apply also to kiddushin that a naira and her father could both be makabal the Kesef Kedushin. Rav Yechanan Omar, no, Machlegis la Gerushin, that Mishnah is only Machlegis Tanakam and Rabbi Huda about Gerushin. Avul Kedushin, Divrakol, Aviel, Velohi, only the father can be makabal Kedushin, but she cannot. Vam Rav Yesi, Rav Chanina, what's the Pshat? My time to Rav Yechanan, I'll leave it to Rabbanan. Why would Rav Yechanan divide Gerushin from Kedushin to say the Machlegis only exists by Gerushin? Because Gerushin, de Mechneses Atzmal Rushus Avia. By the case of Gerushin, where the actual Gerushin, what happens? She goes back to her father's Rushus. Bein hi u bein avia. So either her or her father could be makabal that get because it brings her closer back to her father. It triggers something that her father would be very happy with. It goes back to her father's rishus. Kedushin de mifgaz atma mir shusavia, but Kedushin does the opposite. Kedushin takes her further away from her father's rishus, and therefore her father will say, only avia v'lehi, only he has that right. But he has a schus in her, so she can't go be makabal Kedushin on her own and then, like, Force his hand that she now leaves his rishus. But Zakta Gemara, that doesn't ring true because Vahari Mimer, Mimer, which is the Kedushin that exists by a Yibum, Dimifkas Atmir Rishusavia, that does take her away from her father's rishus. Utnan, and we learned in a Braisa moving over to Omid Aleph, Kitana Minha Erison. This is specific, this is now about a Kitana. So here's this little girl who was married off by her father, just at Erison. Then her husband dies, very sad. Ain Eisen Ba Mimer Elamidas Aviha. The Mimer, because now she falls to a Yibum, right? So she could now do potentially Mimer with the brothers that can only be done midas aviha vehanaira but if the girls and naira is like the brisa bein midas atzma bein midas acherim we're going to take out the masha enkin be kedushin even though it is in the brisa as we'll see later but for right now that we don't seem to know that so clearly even when the naira is leaving her father's rishus as she's doing with mimer chachamim say that the naira can do it by herself this is not like the Chachamim, according to the way we explain them, that that's why only the father can be Makabal Kedushin and not the daughter. Eliyat Mar Mar. This is going to be the Pshat in the Chacham. Omar Abesi Rab Chanina, my time at Rabbi Yechanan and Libid Rabbonin. Why does Rabbi Yechanan and Libid Rabbonin explain the Machlaikis only exists by Gerushin, but not by Kedushin? Did I call only the father can receive Kedushin? Because Kedushin, to me, daita by Kedushin, where you need her das. You can't get married, you can't get married to a woman without her consent. So Kedushin is me daita, so avia Therefore, the father can accept her Kedushin because the father's on team girl. He's the 
one who acts as the das. Therefore, he can authorize the condition to happen. However, Gerushin to Balkarcha, but since by Gerushin, you don't need her das, so Ben he Ben Avia, it wouldn't matter. You don't care about her das, you don't care about her father's das. There's no issue by Gerushin. That's why both the father and the girl can accept the get because they're not really that significant to the process. But by Kedushin, since you need to have das, therefore only the father can be a Makabal Kedushin because he's, he's the player. He's the one who's going to give the das. Very interesting, Rashi. Take a look at the at the fourth line. Rashi says, Kedushin to midaita de be'inan das makne. By Kedushin, you have to have das makne. Now, that doesn't seem like he's saying much, but if you think about that run that we like to quote from Nadarm Daf Lamed, that the way Kedushin works is that an Isha is mafkeres atma, and she allows the husband to make the Kenyan. Is this Rashi at odds with that run? Because here it sounds like she's much more of a player by a typical Kedushin. That she's a das makne. But according to that run, it doesn't sound like anybody's a das makne. Where Rabbi Rosner says the Moshul is like she turns the key and he opens the door. But she didn't actually do the conventional das makne. She just allowed him to do the Kenyan. Okay, so yesh loden. Maimer has to be done with her das, right? Because it is a form of kedushin. In Vikitani, still we said bein he bein avia, to which the Gemara says husam maimer de balkarcha. We're talking about in that brisa a maimer balkarcha as rebbe the rebbe he and rebbe holds maimer will work balkarcha. Did Tanya Isa maimer be avim to shleimi daita rebbe aimer kana the chacham a maimer like kana my time at rebbe. Why would rebbe say that maimer works balkarcha? Because gomer mi bia diavama my bia diavama balkarcha afochinami balkarcha classic yibum's bia works balkarcha. So so too maimer, which is in the flavor of yibum, would also work balkarcha. Verabon and sarri alfinim kedushin. Lamaisic mimer is a form of kedushin, or at least it emulates kedushin. Ma kedushin demidaita, just like a regular kedushin, you need her consent, you need her das. Af hachanami demidaita. So my mikeh mifkil, let's just be masber that better. Rabbi suffer mili di yavama mi yavama havei loy lemelef. This is a yavama de kesugia mimer. It has the halachas of yavama, and therefore it can be done balkarcha. For abundance of rinot, kedushin me kedushin havei loy lemelef. The tzura of mimer is a kedushin de ketsura, and therefore it should have halachas of kedushin, which is that you need her das. Hachinami mistaber kedikom etaris rabbi yechanan. It does seem to make sense. It's mistaber. Like the way Rabbi Yechon is explaining the Machlegas. Now we're finishing to quote that Brisa, where we say that the Naira or the Father can be Makabal the Mimer. That doesn't work that way by Kedushin. So the Brisa is pretty much saying the Feirish that only the Father can be Makabal Kedushin for a regular Naira. And this is like Rabbi Yechon's understanding of Shitas Chachamim. So for the Gemara, Elanei Madhavi Tufta Dereish Lakish. Okay, so now you got a Brisa that's going like Rabbi Yechon. It means it's not going like Reish Lakish. So Lachai Reish Lakish should be upshlugged. Amr Lach Reish Lakish. Nah, Hamani Rabbi Yehudah. The Tan of that Brisa is Rabbi Yehudah. Da Amr Ein Shtei Yadaim Zayichais Kaachas. Rabbi Yehudah's problem all along was that the father and the Naira can't do the same thing. But in Chanami for the Chachamim, they're not being represented in this Brisa, and they hold that both the father and the Naira can be Makabel Kedushin. For the Gemara, Rabbi Yehudah, if you tell me the Brisa is Taka Rabbi Yehudah, so Masha Ein Kain Be Kedushin. What's the lashon of the Brisa as opposed to Kedushin? Masha Ein Kain Be Gerushin Be. Boy. If you're telling me it's Shidus Rabbi Yehuda, so the bigger Chiddush here would be about Gerushin, because that's where he really argues with the Chacham of Feirish. To which the Gemara says in the Chanami, really, Rabbi Yehuda could have said Masha'in came with Gerushin, but I did a ton of Mimer to dummy the Kedushin. Since the context of this Bryce was talking about Mimer, which is really similar to a Kedushin process, Tana Nami Masha'in came be Kedushin for Rabbi Yehuda Maishna Mimer. But according to Rabbi Yehuda, why Lamaisa is Mimer any different? That you could only be Makabo by the father, because Hoyle is Kukov Aimadis. The reason why is because Mimer already, she's already halfway there. She's, there's a Zikas Yibum there. So Mimer's only building on that existing status. So Zakta Gemara, Sashta Das is Lachi. Rabbi Yechon and Namile takes you like me, Kara. Now we don't even have a Kashan Rabbi Yechon and the Shani Mimer, Hoyle is Kukov Aimadis. Now that you're telling me about this idea of Kukov Aimadis, I understand that Mimer is different than regular Kedushin, because woman is already Zakuk. Tanan, we learned in the Mishnah, Ha'ish Mekadosh is Bitoi Kishin Naira Bay Uvishlucho. Our Mishnah, in the beginning of this parak, makes it very clear that a man can be Mekadosh, his daughter, when she is a Naira, he can do it or Shliach can do it. So it sounds very clear. Bay Uvishluchayin, however, Ba, she, Uvishlucha, and her Shliach, Lai. So this is Lachar Keneged, Reish Lakish, Tiyaf to Reish Lakish, because according to Reish Lakish, the Chachamim would allow the Naira to be Mekabal her own Kedushin. You see, it's not that case. Amar Lach Reish Lakish, no, no, it's not fair because Hanami, our Mishnah, Rabbi Yehudahi, our Tana of our mission in the beginning of the parak is Rabbi Yehuda ben Echanami, the Chachamim who Rabbi, who Reish Lakish was coming to explain, is not being represented in this mission. Can you zet sign our first mission in the parak like Rabbi Yehuda? Volkani Seifa, the, the Mishnah said in the Seifa, the, we have this Seifa on Daf Mem Vav coming up, but it's going to be the next part of the mission. If a guy says, "Get married to me with this tomorrow, this date." 
which potentially is Pachas Meshava Pruta. His God Shuli Bazu, and then get married to me with this date. So if either one is individually worth a Pruta, then she's Mekudeshes. If she's not, she's not Mekudeshes. I, together, collectively, they're worth a Pruta, but that's not, but that doesn't count. But I'm reading in Montana, Hiskachi Hiskachi, who holds Hiskachi Hiskachi blibes like two different things that they're not Mitzdar from. Rabbi Rabbi Shimon, he, that's going to be the Tana of Rav Shimon. Do Amar Ad Shemar Shvu Lecholechad because Rav Shimon, in a different context, when someone is Mukhir to make the Shvu Shimerim and they lie and then they admit to it afterwards and they have to bring in Asham, the question is if you do it to multiple people, how many Ashamas do you have to bring? Reb Shimon's shita was you got to make a shul lechol echad ve'echad. So since Reb Shimon is the tana of the seifa, lechayra his bar plug to Reb Yehuda can't be the tana of the reisha. Now, in the Gemara, they're talking about two different things. V'chitema kula Reb Yehuda. Maybe the whole tana of this mission is Reb Yehuda. Uve prati, but this nakuda of being mafarat each one of them individually, several like Reb Shimon, he agrees with Reb Shimon on that nakuda. But that can't be because when we serve Allah, but Tanya Zaklal, this is the rule of Gabe. If you argue with five people at one time with one shvua, klal. If you included all of your kfiris with one with one time, so in chayvul aches. Parat, if you specified each one of these kfiras separately, in chayvul kol aches for aches. Different Reb Meir, Reb Yehuda Eimer, Shvua loy lecha loy lecha loy lecha. If a guy says Shvua lecha and he doesn't say and you and you, but he just says you 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 individually, chayvul kol aches for aches. Then you're going to be chayv a separate carbon for each one. Rabbi Yezer Eimer, loy lecha loy lecha loy lecha v'loy lecha. You put that vav at the end to me. Put them all together. Shvua. I'm making a Shvua. Chayv al kol aches for aches. Reb Shimon Eimer, and here's the punchline: Li'olam ein a chayv at shiyomer Shvua lecha. You gotta have the nusach of shvu. You can't just say loy lecha. You have to have the shvu to each one of them to be chayiv. So you clearly see from the fact that Rabbi Yehuda in the beginning and Rabbi Shimon here at the end are arguing even about the prat of how you are coil the things together, and therefore you can't say that Rabbi Yehuda is the Tana, but he just agrees with Rabbi Shimon on that prat. You see, he argues with Rabbi Shimon. El akul Rabbi Shimon. The whole Tana of our Mishnah is Rabbi Shimon, who bishlichus, meaning the halacha in the beginning of the Mishnah, several like Rabbi Yehuda. Just that din is Rabbi Yehuda. Shlichus is a hard expression here to use because we're talking about the father on behalf of his daughter. That marsha is uh, bothered by that word of Rishlich. Spoke upon him. We're saying that the ratio of the mission is Dafka Rabbi Huda, but the rest of it is all Reb Shimon. Story time. Rav Asi loy ol lebe medrasha. Rav Asi one time didn't go to Bismarish and therefore he missed a shear. Ashka Chela Reb Zeir of Omer Lehi. He found Reb Zeir and said, my Omer Ha'id nebe medrasha. What did they say today? Omer Lehi. He said to him, af an loy oil. I thought I didn't go myself either. However, Rav Oven, who the oil, Rav Oven went, Va'omer Chavrusa Kula Rabbi Yechanan, and he said they every paskin like Rabbi Yechanan, which means that the Rabban are masking to Rabbi Yehuda that only the father can be Makabal and Naira's Kedushin. Vitzavach Rav Reish Lakish, Ki Kruchia, and Reish Lakish, when he heard that, that they were paskin like Rabbi Yechanan, not like him, he was crying out like a Kruchia, like a like some sort of a bird. The Yatzav Ahaisa, the Hekish, it's the same halachas. How can you make a division between Kedushin and Gerish and Yatzav Ahaisa? Velekad Ashkachba. And Nebuch, nobody listened to him. I think the Sharm et Suim says that it's because he was Tavach Kekrochia. I don't know, you can take a look. Omar Leir, Rav Asi says back to Rav Zeira, Rav Oven Bar Samchu, can you be Saimach on this Edus of Rav Oven? Omar Leir, Rav Zeira said, yeah, you sure you could. In, Kimin Yom Tignihu. He is as trustworthy as the fish to the frying pan. You want your fresh fish, you, you fry it right after it comes out of the water. So too, he heard the shear and he made the psak and he reported it right away, so there was no time for him to get far and confused. Amar of Nachman bar Yitzchak, I'm not le Rabbi Yovin bar Bichanina, but le Rabbi Yovin bar Kahana. I don't know if it was the Rabbi Yovin of the Rabbi Chanina or bar Kahana. I don't know whose father was. Hello, Rabbi Yovin Stam. I just heard that he was Rav Oven. So Lamayna Afkamina, why do we care? Lamir Madide Adide. It's important to know who he was and who his father was, so we can identify in case there's a stira in his psak. Boy me ne Rava me Rav Nachman turning over. Naira mahu shetas shliach lekabel gita miad baila. According to the Chachamim, that a Naira can be makabel her get. What about it? Can she also send a shliach to be makabel her get? What's the Shaila. Kiyad of Yadamia is the Naira like her father's Yad? Or do we look at her like a Chatzar? In other words, we know she can be Makabal the Get, but is it Bitaris Yad or Bitaris Chatzar? Kiyad of Yadamia, Mavia, Mashvi Shliach. If she's like the Yad of her father, then just like her father can make a Shliach, she can also make the Shliach. Afinami Mashvi Shliach. Oidilma Kichatzar of Yadamia. Maybe the reason why she can be Makabal the Get, because she blabs like his property, like a Chatzar, and therefore the Kenyan Chatzar is taking place, but Adamati Gitil Yadol and Megirsha, but it's not going to happen until he actually reaches her hand, so she can't make a Shliach for that. So that is the Shaila. How do we Look at the Naira, is she Kiyad Avia or Kachatzer Avia? Correct the Gemara. Umimasafka Leila Ravaha. Did Rava really have such a Shaila of Omer Rava? I'll show you that a person could never be like a Chatzer. Because Kosov Get, Vinas Nubiyad Av the Yoshin, if a husband writes a get for his wife and puts it into the hand of the Eved Kanani, who was sleeping, Umishamartai, and the wife, and his wife was there, and she was being Meshamar the Eved, Sahari Zaget. But Nayor, if this Eved was awake,
awake, ain't a get. Now, nay, am I in a get? So why does it not work if the Evid is awake? Because he has his own brains and therefore she's not being Mishamer him. So if he's Akadaita Kichotzer Avi Adami, if you're telling me that the Naira is like her father's Chotzer, so came out to Gitli Yodin, Namile Tigarish. Clearly, the Naira can't have a din of a chutzr because a person can't be awake and be a chutzr for somebody else, just like the Eved can't be makabal the get on behalf of the wife. So, to the Naira, but if this Naira can be makabal the get, vice versa, she does not have a din of a chutzr. It must be the Naira, according to Rava, has a din of the Yad and not a chutzr. Is she as strong as her father's Yad that she can make the Shlichus? Or maybe she can't. That's the Shaila. How far does that Yad go? Amar Leir of Nachman said back to Rava, Ain. A Naira cannot make a Shliach to be Makabal a get, and only her father can do that. Ace We asked from a Mishnah, Kitana Shomer Hiskabali Giti. If a girl said to somebody, Stamagai, be Makabal my get for me, ain't a get at Shiagia get Liada. Remember, we're talking about a Katana over here, but this plainy guy is not going to be considered a proper Shliach if she if she's only a Katana. Ha Naira, I raise a get. But since the Mishnah is talking about a Katana, it's Mashmah that a Naira, who would ask some guy to become a Shliach for her, it would work. And this is right away, even before it comes to the Yad Naira. So the Mishnah seems to be saying that a Naira can send a Shliach to be a Makabal get. So Hachabah Mayaskin, and you know what, that's not a Raya, because we're talking about Sha'in Law Av. The Mishnah we're talking about where there is no father, meaning the father's already dead. But if the father was alive in a Hanami, the Shliach could not be made by this Naira. If the father of this katana would say to the other guy, So we're talking about the same Mishnah, where in that Sefer of the Mishnah it says a case of the father who says, So behold, Derisha, but the and clearly the father's not dead, and he's there, he's in the story. To which the Gemara says, We're missing some words. If a girl who's a katana says to be makabal get for me, ain't a get achigili get liada. Ha naira, this is the important part we ought to add now. Ha naira ha reza get. If she is a naira, then it will work. That's only when the father's not alive. But if she does have a father and he's still alive, and if a father would say to somebody, go and be Makabal get for her, the rights of Balazar, lo So we added those missing words and now it all makes sense. All right, we're going to stop here at these two dots and Mr. Shem pick it up again tomorrow.